Hi, and something for the weekend. This weekend from Civvy Street is something different. We have got the paper plate workout. That's right. So, a couple of paper plates. If you don't have paper plates or you're worried about scratching your wooden floor, then a couple of hand towels or tea towels or flannels will also do the trick. You might want to warm up first. So if you log on to my YouTube um, little mini cardio warm up, that will get your, your legs warmed up, your arms warmed up and your heart rate up slightly before you start this workout. Okay, we're gonna go with 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest. Here we go, timer on. And we are going to start with standing lunges. So here we go. Stand up, foot on the towel or on the paper plate, and you're just lunging the same leg back and in. So you bend the front knee, drive back. So most of your weight is on your front leg. Drive all the way up to standing. Going for 30 seconds on this leg. So paper plates will slide on a carpet. Take a little break, we're gonna switch legs. So 10 seconds rest. Make sure you're not gonna push into anything behind like a hula hoop or a football. Here we go. Same exercise, next leg. So remember most of your weight is on the standing leg. Side view, for you, bend, snap up. Working the legs, working the glutes. Heart rate climbing a little bit too. So as you can see, I'm using bare feet for this. You could do it with your trainers on. Okay, take a 10 second break. Next up, we're gonna do a side lunge. So still standing, switch legs again. And we're gonna slide out to the side. Now, you can touch the floor if you want to. You don't have to come that far down. You can just do a little slide out and back in. And again, each time, coming all the way back up to standing. So slide the leg out. Same leg, drive up. Good glute work. Oh, take a 10 second rest before you switch to the other leg. Side lunges, go. So you do a few to warm up if you like and then start to go a little bit deeper down, reaching further away, just out to the side. So you've really got to make sure that you are bending this knee, sliding the other leg out, touching the floor if you want to. Good leg workout. Take a 10 second break, we're switching. We've got one more on each side, on each leg, before we get on the floor. So we've switched legs, we're gonna do a curtsy. So just take that leg behind, and it's like a little curtsy squat. Feel this more in the hips now. Taking the leg behind, look into that little curtsy, sliding it back round again. You can do anything you want with your arms. I'm just swinging mine. As you, okay, hold it, switching legs. Curtsy, the other way. Let's go, take it behind. I might feel more natural one side than the other, so don't worry about that, that's quite normal. You'll soon get a rhythm going. So, please do remember to put a little warm up in first before you go straight into these exercises. There we are, take a 10 second break. We're gonna come down on the floor, this is a toughie now. You'll need two, one foot on each. Go with your mountain climbers now. So, knees are coming in, can you see that? Let's turn to the side for you. 
So you're mountain climbers. Clinging the floor at the same time here. Sibby Street Studio floor, highly polished now. <laughs> oh, good. Hold it. Now, both feet on one. You're going to go into a plank twist. So both feet on one towel or one paper plate, plank. Now draw your knees into the side and back to plank. So you're coming in and you're going back. So it's just a twist the one way. Show you that one from the side too. So in and back. Same side, take a 10 second break. Gonna do exactly the same the other side, obviously, to even things up. So drop onto your knees for your breather. And then coming back up to plank. Here we go again. So back to center every time with it. And side view for you. Bye from Sibby Street.